Alrighty, so we have Billiken's Folly being played on Switch. Courtesy of the uh, of a publisher here. This game is really cool. Um, adventure style game that kind of reminds me of like a, like a Legend of Zelda. If Legend of Zelda was more of an adventure game, less of an action <laughs> action game. Um, so this is a beautiful game where you play as this character here, but is has to uh, locate his uh, his lost fam members, and you meet a lot of interesting characters along the way. You have your mom's dog that's become your dog essentially here, and you're tasked with um, locating things like like this um, as it means to help progress. Now. You can talk to characters here. <laughs> and you can ask some questions, which is kind of funny. I mean, the writing's great. I love the writing. It's funny. Um, I don't like the fact they went for like a... Like a I'm not going to say a Sims language, because I think this is actually... A, a, could be a foreign language, at least foreign to me. Um, but it, it's it's not... In English, it's not a true, uh, true voiceover. Um, at least as far as I'm, I'm to understand it, which kind of sucks. I wish it was. I wish it was. I wish it was a traditional voiceover, um, rather than just something you can't comprehend. But I do really like the the humor. Uh, I like the writing. It's pretty, pretty good. So you have. Uh, you have a map right here. This will show you various locations. Those X's are where you've dug already. Um, the X's are where you've dug and haven't found anything. X's are green or ones that you have found stuff. And then you've got your uh, your quests here. And then you've got your treasure hunting gear. Or interesting items and the world map. So again, I love the I love the way the game looks. I love the way it plays. Um, I love the animation. I think it's a really fun game. Very well done. And nothing. But that'll put another X on your map. So this will give you an idea of where you have to go to find the next item that you need. Right now I'm trying to build a shovel. So I can dig I can dig in the uh, in the actual dirt versus just the sand. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so... There is a series of rocks. Okay, so this one. Let's see. What this one? Okay, so that one's pointing up. So what we gotta do is. Okay, so this one's pointing up. So it's gonna be right. That doesn't make sense because I can't dig there. Can't dig there because I don't have a shovel. So it tells me I can't do that yet. Wait. Okay, the one that's facing down. Oh, wait. I can. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe it's going to be around here somewhere? What I find? Oh. A ship nail. Well, that's, 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 that's what I needed, right? I needed the head of the shovel. I didn't need... A rusty ship nail. Okay, let's see if we can find 
So yeah, you're going to be consulting with your uh, your map quite a bit. Uh, just trying to consult these clues. But like I said, the game's a lot of fun. Um, Billkin's Folly is a great game. You play as Percy. You got your trusty dog. Um, it's just a ton of fun. And again, I definitely recommend playing if you guys like uh, games like uh, 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 Deponia, uh, Zelda, uh, games like that. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, it's just a ton of fun. And a great, great game overall. And it's just a wonderful experience. And uh, that'll do it here. I want to thank the publisher for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.